guys welcome back to the channel uh got a lot of messages from subscribers this morning that they're seeing saharan dust popping up again all this time even after so much earlier in the year and even with all that rain that came in the saharan desert we're still seeing a lot of dust check this out because we got tons of dust on the way coming for the caribbean let's get into this right now as you can see here if we go forward in time, this is Monday, October 21st, 8 a.m. This is what it looks like right now. Look at the dark patch coming right here. All this coming right there. Look at that. That is Monday, Tuesday, 11. This is Tuesday, October 22nd, 8 p.m. You see the dust clearing. And then it starts again. This is Wednesday, October the 23rd. We're going all the way down to Wednesday, October 23rd at 11 p.m. Thursday. This is Thursday, 24th, 11 p.m. More Saharan dust on the way. So it's just coming and going. And even with all that rain in the Sahara, it's still coming and going. So those of you who have asthma, those of you who suffer from these ailments, you got to look out for this dust. It's, it's kicking up again and it's a lot that's on its way. It's not as black as it used to be, but it's still heavy based on the imagery that we're seeing here. So those of you who have issues, you know you gotta look out all right not sure if those of you remember how much rain came in the saharan desert take a listen to this since we've had this much rain in such a short space of time it has to be said that even for the geography of the region since we are on the eastern slopes of the atlas mountain we have noticed that it's as if all the rains are directed towards the same areas a river that has been dry for decades have come back to life after the rainfall uh, there is even a lake that has been dry for 50 years, named Lake Uriki, between the Zagora and Tata regions, where the water has returned, as NASA images have shown. So the old desert lakes will come back to life. But the torrential rains have been causing floods in Morocco and Algeria for the past month, killing dozens of people and destroying farmers' harvests. A lot of rain that came there. I mean, but even with that, we're still having the dust, so that's a kind of weird. Striking images from Sahara Desert show large lakes etched into rolling sand dunes after one of the most arid barren places in the world was hit with its first floods in decades. Saharan does experience rain, but usually just a few inches a year and rarely in late summer. Over two days in September, however, intense rain fell in parts of the desert in southeast Morocco after a low pressure system pushed across northwestern Sahara. People saying, of course, it was man made in terms of the rain. Uh, preliminary NASA satellite data show nearly eight inches of rain in some parts of the region. Of course, you know they monkey themselves with the weather. So, those of you, like I said, with all of the ailments, look out, there's more Saharan dust on the way. So, just wanted to update you on that. So Stay tuned, guys. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos.